Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Helping Develop. In this tutorial what we're going to be going over is Twitter-like input fields. Now this is a tutorial request from a friend of mine. If we head over to Twitter now you'll see the fields which I'm on about. You can see that the normal one is like a grey bordered and the focused state is like blue bordered and a blue glow. And that's what we're going to be showing you. And if we head over to a blank HTML page which I just have some basic features on there right here I just have a form and a header. Now I'm going to be editing this using the embedded CSS which is in the HTML file. You can see that this CSS here is already there for just styling of the document and we're going to be adding in the CSS here for editing the input field. Now before we edit the input field we're just going to give it a class and the class name is going to be Twitter. So in the CSS, we're just going to do period Twitter, open curly brace, go down a few lines and close curly brace off. And now this is going to be the normal state. So within this normal state, I'm just going to set the width to about 250 pixels. After this, I'm going to set the border radius. So we do border, middle score, radius, and then we set it to about five pixels. Then we make sure that we do the same for the web kit and the moz. Now the reason why we do this is so that it is supported in every HTML5 supporting browser. Right, after this what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be adding the background. And I'm just going to set it to the default of white. Then I'm going to give it a border of one pixel solid line and it's going to be CCC which is a light grey. Now after that we can go and have a look what we have. So you can see that we have this input field, but you can see that when we focus on it, it has that horrible outline. Now how we're going to do this is we're just going to remove it by typing outline none, like so. Now, if we look back, refresh, and click inside it, you can see that the outline is left empty, which gives us space to put some more outline on it, put our own outline on it. But I'm just going to add some padding of about 6 pixels, just to give it some room to breathe. So now that looks like more of a nice looking input field, we can add the focus state. Now all we do is we just do period and then the class name and then we do colon focus and that will select the focus state. After this, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be going to the Twitter website and I'm going to be print screaming this. Then I'm going to be opening up Photoshop and once Photoshop is open, I'm going to paste in exactly what I print screened and I'm going to zoom right in and I'm going to find the two exact colours that I need to make it look like Twitter's input fields. So we have this colour here and that's going to be the border colour. So we do on the focus state, border, one pixel solid and then that new colour which will override the normal state. And now we need to have that nice blue glow. And that nice blue glow is might be a little bit hard to find, but it's this C8DEF0, I believe. And how we're going to apply that is we're just going to do a CSS3 element named box shadow. And the first two zero pixels and zero pixels is the X and Y axes. And I'm going to leave them at zero just because I want it coming out from all angles of the box. Now the next is the blur, and we're going to have that three pixels. And the next one after that is the spread, and we're just going to have that one pixels. Then we can have the hashtag and the color. So once we have that and we go back, we refresh, and you can see that when we hover over it, or not hover in fact, we focus it, you can see that we have the Twitter-like blue effect. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed everything in this tutorial. And if you want to see more tutorials, you can subscribe to my own Facebook page, and uh, you can request there. But soon Helping Develop will be up and running, so no point in that, and you can just request on Helping Develop. But if it's not up and running, then I'll leave the Facebook uh, page right down in the description. Thank you. Goodbye.